Uh, what is the reason from factory some quads come with AT beta flight? Pin tuning tab, filter settings, the gyro independent profile off, low pass RPM and dynamic is disabled. Um, so AT beta flight is a big freaking deal. Uh, let me show you guys what that is first. So, no. Now, come on. Where is that AT? Let's see here. Where is the AT version of the iFlight flight controller? I know Race Day Quad sells it. Here it is. Great. Oh my goodness. $40 for a flight controller and DSC. Why? Because it doesn't have an STM32 chip on it. It has an AT chip on it, which is essentially, I'm not going to say it's a clone of an STM32, but it is functionally similar to an STM32 and uh, can be dropped in somewhat easily. Um, and it's way less expensive, so the cost goes down. So if you get a flight controller with an AT chip, the only thing you need to know, unfortunately, is that you may need new drivers... But, and you need to be on Betaflight 10.10, .10, the new, uh, I believe, I believe it just hit release candidate. Betaflight configurator. So you would want to download this release candidate and you would want to then hopefully be able to flash and work with this flight controller. But it's super exciting that the price can be so god dang low. And Gregory Hurst says, guaranteed to fly for at least 15 seconds. But no, but wait. Because that's why that very concern is why when Neutron RC released the AT32 flight controller for $27, I didn't, well, like I'm sure I mentioned it, but I didn't go, ah, everybody buy this. Because who the hell is Neutron RC? I don't know. Is this a good flight controller or is it going to die on you? I don't know. But this is iFlight. Now someone in the comments will say, ah, oh, yeah, F iFlight. They suck too. Okay, well, that's your choice. But like iFlight, like that's a real company with a name behind it and customer service of some kind. So um, don't sweat the AT. If you have an AT flight controller, you need to know that you need to have beta flight configured or 1010. But other than that, it's just an easy way to save some money. Yay. Now, why did it come with gyro, gyro independent profile off? Hang on. This next question, that question is a stupid thing that beta flight did that is confusing. Look right here. Uh, here are the filters. This pull down here has nothing to do with profile independent filter settings. Let me zoom in. This pull down is simply deciding whether the gyro filters use sliders or not. When I hit off, the gyro slider is disabled and we can manually tweak these values. Okay? It has nothing to do with the text profile independent filter settings. This is so, such horrible UI design. And, right, that's how it should look. Okay? This is a header and it has no relationship to this pull down. So that's that. Betaflight developers, fix this. Please fix this. This is so confusing. Um, and then low pass RPM and dynamic is disabled. That's that's what the manufacturer decided to make their PID tune be. And presumably they tested that and found it to be acceptable. 